Hey guys, it's Bumper, and welcome back to another episode of Papa Sushiria. Last time, we were able to get this guy. We were able to get a server, and I dressed him. I made him look like Doug Markai, and I customized him. So, yeah, I get to have my own little Doug Markai in the game. That's fun. <laughs> and this time, I have a feeling things are going to get pretty festive. So, let us hop right into it. Well, actually, before we do, just make sure we can't purchase anything important. I'm gonna wait to purchase foes, because I think you guys like seeing me burn stuff. Because I bet you probably think it's funny. So let us continue. Payday! I forgot, Saturday is payday. And hello, Ellie. Why, hello there, Ellie. How are you doing? And you look very German. Should, should I be offended? Because I'm, I'm of German heritage, like, not directly, but like, you know, hundreds of years ago kind of stuff. So, should, should I be offended about it? No, because that's stupid. Just like, why would I be offended to something like that? And I just, I don't get why people get offended over stuff like that. I don't get it. I don't get it. it maybe I just have too thick of skin. I don't know. Anyway, let's see, and that's gonna take a while, so write bubble tea! Let's see, almond, and they want some mango as well. Get some mango. Okay, I think I'll have time to say hello to Doug. How you doing, Doug? Doug, my man. My main man, Doug. How you doing? I don't care about you, Lisa. I know you're one of my customers, but I don't care. Okay, let's see. Okay, you want white rice, Lisa. White rice. I like white rice better than brown rice. It's It, it tastes better. And, hello, Ellie. Would you like to be a part of stand-up night? No? Well, good, because I don't have a joke to tell you. <laughs> oh, I got a joke. What? Okay, I gotta make sure that this doesn't burn. I'll tell the joke while I'm getting Hugo's order to you, Ellie. And, of course, Hugo, because Hugo does not want to be left out of the jokes. Because Hugo likes the jokes. What did the chicken do whenever he died? He went to the other side. <laughs> yeah, I know that's a stupid joke. Anyway, let's get moving. Get some cukes. Some delicious cukes. If a cucumber can make you smile, veggie tails. I know that's not the theme, but I don't want to get problems with it. Anyway, let's roll this on up. I love VeggieTales growing up. I love VeggieTales. What made no sense about VeggieTales was that there was, if you don't know what VeggieTales is, it's just a Catholic kid show that I just like pretty much any Christian or Catholic kid grew up with. If, and long story short, pretty much veggies would tell Bible stories. But the thing is, we're like, you know, just stories telling like a message about being good. And anyway, long story short, there is a grape and a blueberry and like there's different, and there's a tomato for Pete's sake. You're not a veggie. You're a fruit. This isn't fruit tales. This is veggie tales. What are you doing here? I d it just always felt weird that there was fruit in Veggie Tales. And uh, sorry if uh, you guys heard a little sound effect that was from a notification. Wrong word. That was from a notification from a friend trying to talk to me. But that's okay. We will just pretend it is not fair because I am recording at the moment. And I do not want to stop while I'm in the middle of recording. And what am I doing? Oh, yes. Putting the order out. Ellie, what do you think? Perfect! Yes, baby! We got it. Perfect. Dude. Okay, now some cream cheese. But, uh, like, if you guys don't know. Oh, in VeggieTales, like, they had, um... In VeggieTales, they had episodes of, like, Sherlock Holmes... Indiana Jones themed ones like like they had Minnesota Cuke and uh, let's see you what was the other thing that I was thinking about oh they actually had like 
like um, one of their characters dress up as Dark Doctor Who and show up in the TARDIS. So that was beautiful. <laughs> like I bet it, it just like was so random, but just like all my friends whenever it happened were just like, I, like because it was like in the whenever we were older and it just like exploded on the internet, and we were just like. You gotta be kidding me, because by then we were like Doctor Who fans. I'm not as big as much of my friends because I cannot get BBC, but, and I don't have Netflix either. But, uh, sorry, another message just popped up in my face. Anyways, but, either way, I'm trying to think of what I was gonna say. Either way, hey, I still like Doctor Who, it's cool. It's very cool. Uh, my favorite doctors are probably David Tennant, number ten, and number eleven. Matt Smith. Is that the? Is that eleven? Is that the one who says that fezzes are cool, and like ate fish sticks and pudding in the one episode? I think that's the one. And the internet will obviously correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see. So. We need some lobster, and then we need some carrots. I'm being a little quick because I am hungry, and I'm recording like all the previous episodes all in one batch for this week. So yeah, you guys get a little behind the scenes peek of that. I record everything for the week, week in one evening, so. Yeah, my throat's probably gonna hurt tomorrow after work, since uh, I work today. And uh, if, since you guys don't really know, oh, I am a newscaster. Yeah, I actually am a newscaster in my town, on, on my local radio station. So that's a lot of fun, but um, it kills my voice because I've never been trained how to properly do it. So I'm pretty much just making things up as I go on how to project properly and not kill my vocal cords, but my throat hurts, so I may be a little bit quieter, so I'm getting closer to my mic so that you can hear me better, but hopefully you guys can still hear me even though that I'm trying to be a little quieter because my throat hurts. Uh, yeah, that's painful, ow. Okay, let's hope that gets better within the next what I'm doing here. Can't think. Oh my gosh, why is it so hot in this room? Just like, I've already mentioned it before, but oh my gosh, it's sweltering in here. Just like, I want to turn the fan on so bad, but it would make way too much noise. At least for the recording. And you gotta be dedicated, you gotta be dedicated to your craft. And make a quality recording. What I need up here is AC for Pete's sake. I'm gonna have to ask my parents to, next time I'm recording, turn on the AC. I know it doesn't get that well up here, but any little bit helps. I was recording something that I don't know if I'll ever use, but it was kind of like a backup video in case, like, I don't get something out on time. And, uh... Yeah, I just don't know if it's ever gonna be used, but it was so hot, oh my gosh. I just, it was so sweltering. Goodness. Wally, hey yo. Wow, I cannot think at all. Okay, let's try to, I think this is the, I try to get hit three days out of one episode, in-game days out of one episode. Well, in one episode. There's nothing cooking over here. Good, I couldn't remember if there was or was not. And sorry, I did not say hello to Doug, Dougie boy, whenever he went by. So sorry, my Dougie boy, that I did not say hello. Hello. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped in my head. Sorry if my commentating isn't the best at the moment, just, oh my gosh, I, it's so sweltering here, and I don't want to wait until tomorrow to record, because I feel like my throat is not going to be available to record tomorrow. 
So, yeah, I'm trying to get this done tonight while I still have somewhat of a voice. Okay, today's service. 96%? Not half bad, not half bad. Tofu Guru, let's see if we can level up with a cheesy grin, cheesy lucky grin. Okay, let's see, Mitch's mess, okay. Guitar, taco, and cactus. Yes, I get another sticker. Great. Now I'm gonna purposefully, like, uh, strike out. And get a achievement. I did not get the achievement because it had a cookie already in it. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to fail. But strike out Mitch's mess by clicking three different cookies. Lost the prize, but hey. And just as I thought, just as I thought, Cherry Blossom Festival. Now, holidays, you gotta make sure that you're in the holiday spirit. That you are dressed for the holiday. And that you do not have anything on that might reduce, like, how much points you might get. So, Doug, sorry for taking away the nice jacket. But let's see, um, okay, let's see, decorate the lobby, wood grain wall, doesn't look half bad, uh, anything else, nope, now let's see, anything else I need to pay attention to, no, and um, by the way, holidays, they come up whenever, uh, at certain level up, so whenever you level up, just, just, you may get a holiday. Okay, now let's see before we go if there's anything I can purchase. Ooh! I am going to grab the special sign. Because the special sign, whenever you, um, ever you have the special sign, you can actually get, whatever, if you put it outside, which you can choose not to, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you choose to, you will get two people order it in that day. So, we are definitely going to put that out. And let us continue to the Cherry Blossom Festival. Very Japanese. I love it. Toru, hello. How are you doing? Unagi. That is eel. And Naruto Maki. Who doesn't like Naruto Maki? Naruto. You know why Naruto likes ramen so much? Because Naruto Maki is actually a very common ramen topping. It's like one of the most common ramen toppings ever. And just, it's like the swirl. Yeah, that's that's where they got the like little idea for the swirl on Naruto's headband. And so I find that very funny. If Naruto is named after a food. <laughs> oh, you gotta love whenever things like that happen. But let's see, she, she I don't get why, why people like eel, it's gross. It, it's just outright gross. Doug, how you doing, buddy? Buddy old pal of mine. How you doing? Okay, let's see. Go back to the tea station. What was I saying? Oh yeah, eel is gross. gross. And why do I say that? Okay, because one time, whenever I was at my library's manga anime gaming club, they had a random assortment of Japanese snacks that they got from like Japan Crate or something. Something like that. I don't know. Hashtag not sponsored. But anyway, they had an assortment of Japanese snacks and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go over and get one. And then I asked the one of the guys who like, one of the two people who had it up, hey, hey, uh, do you who have any of the snacks left over? And he's just like, yeah. And he's like, what do you want? And I'm just like, like, uh, surprised me. He, and so he went over, grabbed something random, um, and he brought me back something that was in Japanese, of course, on the packaging, so I did not know what it was. Had no marking on it. So I just tried it, and I ate it, and it was gross, and it tastes really fishy, and really salty, and... I was just like, ew, that's disgusting. And, and he came over because he, this guy, he knows Japanese. He's not, not like a ton of it, but he knows enough of it. 
and he read what the label said, and it was eel jerky. Eel jerky! That is disgusting! Who makes- oh my gosh, who makes jerky out of eel? Ugh. Yeah, I- I'm never- no, just no, never eating eel again. That, that was disgusting. Like, some of those snacks were great, like, like, there was, like, literally a just, like, like, a little thing with, like, jello, jelly in it kind of thing. Just a little tiny package with pretty much, like, pre-made jello in it, flavor, like, really good. But, and there was, like, also, oh, like, uh, these little, like, corn puffs. For some reason, Japanese people like corn, I don't know why. Hey, from what uh, the guy said. And, but just, like, like, corn puff. It was just, like, barbecue flavored. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It had, uh, had the character Doraemon on it. Does anybody know who Doraemon is? I, that may be too old, but it was, wait, wasn't it on Disney XD at one point? Then no, it's not too old. Well, because just, like, they, if they re-released it on Disney XD, there's gotta be some people who know about it. Anyway, long story short, Doraemon was on the package. Don't know why, but either way, he was. And just, it, it was barbecue flavored, and it was good. I liked it. I liked it. It was good. It was weird, and it was a corn puff, but it was good. <laughs> I never thought I'd have those two, two uh, words in the same sentence. Corn puff. In the same word. Uh, have you guys ever heard of corn puff? Because that's weird, but at the same time, interesting. Because I've had one, and they're pretty good, honestly. But let's see. My hand is not working rice and nori you go over here thank you let's see slice this bad boy up let's see slice and dice with the rice and no there are not any mice <laughs> in our restaurant today at least the health inspector will probably come tomorrow and tell us yeah you gotta get that taken care of but for now, we are good. Doug, I'm so glad I took the headband off because as cute as it did look, we can't mess up that hair. And as you can see, five stars equal a prize. So, I'm glad we got that. And we are going to make the next piece of sushi. That was a weird way of saying sushi, but it's how I said it. And we will go with it. And let's put some tofu on. I don't know what accent I'm doing, but it's interesting. It sounds kind of Swedish. And Naruto! Naruto Maki! Naruto! I can't do the thing. Don't they just yell Naruto? But yeah, this is his name, so they'd probably be yelling at him sometimes. <laughs> and thank you, Doug, for the order. Let's see. Put that back. Roll that on up. Do 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 do. Uh, that is some weird kind of fish that I do not know the name of. I'll put it on screen if I can figure it out. Let's see. Um, what? Oh, so right, slice it. Duh. Okay, just making sure that wasn't burning. Slice it on up with the Naruto Maki. What was that sound I made? <laughs> oh no, Jojo! Okay, the food critic has arrived. Every week, Jojo will order something new. If he likes it, he'll award you the blue ribbon. If you thought the closers were picky, he is the pickiest. So, we are gonna try and get his order out as fast as possible, or at least the other people's orders out as fast as possible, and as perfect. And we're gonna get his as perfect as possible. Because look, his order needs to be perfection. Perfection. I'm not kidding. So, let's try and do good, because we do not want to make Jojo mad, because Jojo has something good for us if we do good. And we will see what that is if we do le good. Jojo has always been the- Okay, looks like that's gonna get shoved back. So that Jojo's can come first. Okay, cream cheese. Peas. But Jojo has been the, in the food critic since like I think the very first Papa's game. 
Papa's Burgeria. There's been a lot of Papa's games, and, and I think I've played all of them. I'm like, not to completion, because as a kid I was terrible at them. Um, but, like, I would have so many orders racked up, and I would always have, like, my waiting score be, like, zero. Like, I'd never gotten a waiting score that was not, like, zero. <laughs> So I feel bad to all my customers back then, but let's see. I'm trying to think what were the other Papa's games. There's Pastaria, and there's now the latest game is Sush- well, not Sushiria. Uh, that's the one we're playing. The latest game is Scooperia. Uh, you put, like, ice cream scoops on cookies. Then uh, there's the Freezeria, and then there's the- I think Pancakeria, and Pizzeria, and Cupcakeria. And that's a lot of different restaurants and donutaria and if I'm forgetting any I will put them on screen because I want to make sure I mention all of them because all these games are going away once 2021 hits so we are going to I think you guys are gonna want to check some of these games out because I'm gonna try and highlight some flash games before the end of the year because flash games are so much fun like there's some really good ones i know some of them can be cringe old cringe but some of them are really fun and i'm just gonna be sad once these are gone because these games were my childhood i used to play them whenever or my mom would take me to the library and and i would wait for her to get done on the computers and i would get on the computer or because our computer it was really old and we had dial up internet do you guys know what dial-up internet is? Probably not. Uh, it's the things that go ear, 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 and it's hooked up through the phone line, and you couldn't be on the phone and be on the internet at the same time because just like your internet is through the phone line. So yeah, that was fun, and the internet was slow as well get out, so you could not play flash games. And even if it wasn't dial-up internet, our computer was old, so it was not powerful enough, and I burnt this person's rice. I feel bad. Okay, let's see. Jojo, what do you think? Yes, we got the blue ribbon. Yes. Very good, very good. Okay, let's make your tea while waiting, but... Uh, can we actually do good? Thank you. I, I can't remember what I was talking but just flash games I think I was talking about. I don't know if I'm not, sorry. But anyway, if those flash games I grew up on and I played so much and they were just what I played any time that I could. It, it was just so much fun, those games. Like I didn't have newer consoles until like, okay, I didn't have my DS until I was like 10. And then I didn't have my Wii until I was 15. So, oh, and then, like, it broke after the first year. You know, like, it just decided to die. Uh, and then, so I had to wait another year, and then whenever I was 17, my parents got me a new one. And they were nice and got me a new one. That was very nice of them. And thank you again to you guys, because you didn't have to do that for me. But you did, so thank you. you know, and anyway, so, like, the only things I had until, like, like, those two things. I had my NES. Since I was a little kid, I had the NES. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Which is a fossil. I love the games on it. I grew up on them. I am definitely a Nintendo kid. I love those old games. Games. But the NES, it's it's definitely doesn't have new games, that's for sure. And... The other thing I had was like when I was seven, my parents got me a Leapster. <laughs> that was my closest thing to a handheld gaming thing other than a Game Boy. We found it in an auction with like DuckTales and RC Prom Racer and Tetris and Wheel of Fortune. And that was all the games I had for it until like later whenever I found a Star Wars game. And that was a really hard Star Wars game and I never beat it because it was hard. But yeah. I did- these were my closest equivalent for the longest time to newer games, so I just- I love these kind of games, because I just never thought games like this would ever exist, you know? Just because my whole world were those old games. 
So that was just so cool. Those moccasins were cute. Now let's see. Dude, that is a ponytail. That is like that is not just like a regular ponytail. That's not not a rat tail, that's not anything like that. That is a full on girl's ponytail. Not to be rude, but it is. It is Do you have pink hair? Are you is it? That just stands out like a sore thumb. I'm not very good style, people. I know you just randomized things, but come on. Okay, apparently that did not get the achievement that I was going after. But anyway, let's decorate the lobby. Done with that. Did I? No, I did not. Okay, so now we are going to change it over to the Philly roll, which will give us two plus tickets. That is how we get more tickets. And that means we are going to get a total of nine tickets if we get the full amount. So, let's hope we do good. And let's just check the shop. No, there's not anything we can buy today. Let us continue on for the last day in this episode. I'm hungry, so let's, let's go. Cheerio soy paper. Sweet sakura sauce. If you did not know, sakura means cherry, I believe. Oh, you earned a blue ribbon. For the next three days, customers will give better tips because you have this award. And you have a golden envelope. Mandy, I will, I will make sure you get a good, good sush. Okay, yeah, and I know for holiday clothes, hoping to help and, you know, I already talked about this. You're supposed to. You're supposed to do holiday furniture for holidays as well. Well, as you could expect. But let's see. That is the wrong paper. Okay, good thing I noticed that. But let's see. Daggy boy, how you doing? I'll be over there in uno momento, por favor. And Sami Sakura means cherry blossom. So that was cherry sauce. But anyway. Hey, Olivia, I don't care about you. I, I care I care about Dougie Boy. Dougie Boy, can I talk with you a little longer, please? No? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, Senpai has left. Sadly, Senpai has left. Senpai has left the building. I'm so weird. Oh my gosh. I need to stop fangirling over a fictional thing of Doug. A fictional thing of Doug Markaito. Why am I fangirling over that? Oh my gosh. I should probably just like, if this is a real restaurant, I'd just be like, if Doug was actually working with me, I'd just be like, Hey, Doug, how you doing? Mm hmm yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, I'm awesome. Mm hmm uh, yeah, I know. Oh, I'm pretty cool, and I do a pretty good job of running this place and cooking the sushi. Yeah, I know, everything in the kitchen is burning. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the kitchen could probably be on fire, and I, I, I could care less probably if that uh, was just a real situation. And just because, as I just feel like wouldn't be able to focus on anything else. And I think I've already proved that just with a fictional version of him. I, it's just I, I'm turning myself into an idiot. <laughs> But hey, what did I expect? Embarrassment. It's the price of stardom. <laughs> At least on YouTube, for sure. <laughs> move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Okay. Now I burned that. That was great. Okay, let's put some rice over here as well. Oh, and good thing I was done with that, so I don't have to wait too long to do something. Mandy! Thank you, and give me the grump grumpy eel. <laughs> That's cute, I like it. Grumpy eel. It's a grumpy eel. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy eel. Very grumpy eel. I don't know why he's so grumpy, but he is very grumpy. Okay, let's see. That sounds like the Minecraft menu sound effect. Like the pause menu sound effect. That, that must be just like on some sort of list of like copyright free or just some sort of list of sound effects. Or who maybe who knows? Maybe I don't know whenever the first 
Sushiri again came out, so who knows, maybe this came out before Minecraft, and Minecraft asked for the sound effect. Probably not likely, but who knows? Making my own cannon here. Hugo! Hugo, my man, how you doing? Okay, let's see. You want a Philly roll? Great. Thank you for ordering the Philly roll. So bet I get more tickets. Let's see. I have that, so I need green wrapper. The nori wrapper. Okay, let's see. Cukes. We need some delicious cukes here. Mm, let's see. Tofu. Tofu is... I've had tofu before. It's not terrible. Oh, Naruto! Naruto Maki! Naruto! It's actually a fish cake. Naruto Maki is actually a fish cake. I, I it's it's interesting. A little cake made out of fish. And apparently it has the pink is food coloring. You put food coloring in fish. That's weird. But either way, it does look cute. Uh, let's see, slice it on up today. Today. Okay, let's get some fish. I'll be over in a second. Make sure nothing's burning, which is a good thing that I did make sure nothing's burning. And Doug, uh, how you doing? How you doing, my buddy? Just gotta make sure my hair looks good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yep, a little mirror. Yep, look good. Oh, he's walking away. Dang it. Oh my gosh, I'm so weird. Did I seriously? Did I seriously put... Oh no, I didn't. I'm fine. Okay, let's put this back, because, okay, put it down there. I am getting distracted by the plots of Doug Markiter. Okay, anyway, avocado. What? What do you want? Not a banana, no, me. Oh, hello, Emilette, how are you doing? Okay, let's see, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, gotcha, alrighty then. I will get that into the works of being made. Okay, let's get the Philly roll with some yum yum sauce on top. Slice it on up. Let's. I am getting really tired and hot up in my room. Like because this room just. I I know I've already said like probably for, this is probably the twentieth time, but I just like. I, I I am st I can't even think barely I barely can even think just with how hot it is up here. here, which is why if I fail I'm gonna blame it on that. And I did not cook enough rice. Great, that's just great. Okay, order up, Lisa. What do you think? Yes. Let's go. Okay, let's see. You want eel. Ew. That's gross. But whatever you want. If you want it on there, I'll give it to you. Now, we're probably not going to make it into this point of the game, so I'll just tell you now. But, um, you, you can... One of the toppings that you can put on, one of the ingredients for Christmas, is pine needles. I'm not kidding. Like, it's spruce boughs. Like, it's pieces of spruce. Spruce branches. Like, what, did you chop up a Christmas tree and put it on my sushi? It's just like, like, hey. Hey, I want a Christmas tree on my sushi. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, I'd just be like, okay. If you want it, I'll get it for you. If, uh, I'll just pull that Christmas tree out of the dumpster that I just threw away. Okay, and just, just put it on your sushi roll. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> okay. Matcha. Toru? Yes, you like it. I'm glad. I'm very glad. No. 
Let's see, cream cheese, this is for Emilette, so let's make sure we do well. Naruto! Naruto Maki! It's a ninja! A ninja that is Naruto Maki! I can't think straight right now because I'm hungry and tired and overheated. I know I've already mentioned these things plenty of times. And I sound Scottish, not Japanese. Oh, Japanese, I mean Japanese. I'm Japanese. No, I don't sound Japanese, no I don't. <laughs> I didn't sound Japanese at all. Okay, this. <laughs> and then we got a sticker, great. Oh my gosh. I better not do it, an accent again, or wasn't my defense of people. Kawaii desu! Oh my gosh, I was so... Let's do it by the way, Kawaii desu. It means so cute, very cute, you know. I have something to that. That uh, degree. If I remember correctly, I can't remember perfectly because I cannot think straight. For the thousandth time, I cannot think straight. My nerves and my feet are going numb. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> like, my feet are tingling from how just, like, overworked I am from today. I woke up at 7 a.m., and right now it is 9.50. So, yeah. No naps, because naps hurt my brain. For some reason, they make me feel worse. Thank you for the tickets. I need to post after what's going on. And just I I I did I lost like an hour of sleep because there was a storm last night. And I haven't eaten since like three o'clock. So that's fun. Because I wanted to get stuff done. I wanted to put captions on something. So let's see. Rico's chili works. If I don't get that one achievement, I'll be surprised. Oh dear, oh dear, what do I do? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yes, 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 yes. With time to spare. Pinstripe pants. Nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to try and focus on this. Sorry if I'm being too quiet. Uh, there, 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 there. ba -da. Okay, blue plaid four. Interesting. Interesting pattern. Okay. Let's move this. Please. Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes! Woohoo! Uh, let's see. Come on. Let's get something for the Cherry Blossom Festival, maybe. That would be nice. That would be nice. But the only way I'm gonna get that is if I get this on time. Yes! Comic book stand. Nice, nice. Uh, let's see. Um, I love puzzle games. They're so much fun. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. What do I do? 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 Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Yes. Aha. I beat you. Let's see. Okay, Rico. Let's see what you have here. Do 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 do. do. Complicated. I think not. Um, and there we go. With time to spare. Seven seconds. Seven seconds to spare. Cinco table, okay. And last ticket. Let's see, turn that thing. Okay, what do I, what do I do here? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, 
Oh dear, what do I do? 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 Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ha ha ha. dang it. Uh, that didn't make it. It's okay. We got plenty of prizes. Okay. Shoes. And hat. There we go. Now we got our prize. Okay, let's see first. Ooh, now we got a shirt to match the holiday. Doesn't matter. Put that on. Ooh, that. And does that help out? No, no. It does not. But it does look pretty cool. Yeah, I like my shirt. Alright. <laughs> okay, let's see. Does that help? Nope. Okay, let's change Doug into the outfit. Oh, he looks good in green. Doug, you should take note of what oh, looks good here. Here, if you're watching. You know what? You'd look at the moccasins. Let's do it. What shoes do I want? For me. Yeah, I like the moccasins. They're cute. And, um, do we want... Yeah, because it gives me bonus points. Gotta... Sorry, sorry, Doug. Just gotta mess up that do... Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Um, yeah, that looks good. Right, okay. And let's see, what does this the grumpy eel give us? One ticket. If yeah, that's okay. It's still pretty good. And let's put everything we got down before we quit for this episode. Ooh! Wallpaper that is for the holiday. Yay! Oh, let's change these trims. Oh my gosh. It looks terrible. Well, as it is. Because I can't stand how it looks without changing it. And... Yep, that looks good. Okay, guys, so I think that is going to be the end of this episode. Make sure... Feel free... Whatever it is. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and... Uh, what is it? Oh, right. Click the little bell to be notified whenever I put out a new video. Oh, and I will see you guys in the next episode, and hopefully we will have leveled up some more and become a better sushi master. I will see you guys then.